Like say she get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her right Body but it's unpolite Don't be in a humble life Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go up tonight All in hope she's left or right I just wanna live in a fantasy I think we deserve it right Top of the memory I've ever made in my life Permanent ecstasy The ladies is pimps tonight Living inside a dream I slay where the love is like I put that on my own Okay, so we just pulled up at the thrift store. So we're about to go in. Let's go over exactly what we're looking for on this thrift store trip. Let me actually, I'm revamping my wardrobe. Like I'm revamping my style, my wardrobe, everything. So to be completely honest with you, I have an idea of things that I need, but I'm not shopping for anything specific because I need everything. You get what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh yeah, I need this. No, I need everything. I don't ever really go looking for anything specific because sometimes you don't find it and I just it's like when I see something that I like or I, you know that I can use that I can wear then I just get it and sometimes you can want something and then not get it and then or they don't have it or you and you might end up being disappointed or something like that so I really am just like it's like finding treasures whatever I find is what I get as long as the price is right so the first store that we're at i told y'all before we're at the salvation army this store has 50 percent off on wednesdays today's wednesday so that's why i waited to go today so yeah i'm hot in this car so let's go in try to find a pair of jorts i've been spending too much time on tiktok but like i want to try i want to see i just want to see
Okay, not gonna lie, today has been a little bit of a disappointment, but I did grab some things, so I'm about to try them on now. I didn't give y'all an outfit of the day, so. This is the OOTD. I like to wear leggings, biker shorts, fitted stuff so that I can easily try on um, the clothes over my clothes. Like, I don't like getting undressed and trying them on regularly. You know what I'm saying? So, I always wear biker shorts, leggings, a jumpsuit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Spandex jumpsuit, something like that, so that I can try the stuff on over top of my clothes. But um, I'm about to try on the stuff that we have. Oh, so this is from, y'all seen this before. This is from Girlfriend Collective. This is the Zara bag. I put, it comes with a gold like link chain strap, but I needed a crossbody. So I took this strap off of one of my other purses and just put it on here so it can be a crossbody. Um, and then these shoes are Yeezys. Don't ask me the number, cause I don't know. Don't know. Do we have these shades on? These are from Urban Outfitters. I got them on sale. And just my regular jewelry. Um, and then my earrings, these little hoops I actually got from here, like three, four, like in 2018. But um, all right, let me try the stuff on that we picked up in the cart. striped shirt like this from a thrift store before but it was way bigger than this this one fits a little bit smaller and i like the darker blue better because the one that i had was like a really really light pale baby blue so i like this better these are no ew and they have stretch yuck Okay, this I wasn't sure about because I feel like this tie thing makes it look a little bit cheap. Yeah, no. Okay, so out of a total of like four, seven, like ten pieces, I ended up with three. But that's normal. Also, today's visit, like I said, was very disappointing. Like, I don't know what happened. But, oh, wait, let me try this one. Hold on, I just found something else. This leather trench? <gasps> and it's by Wilson's, so it's definitely real leather. $14.99, which means that it's $7.50. Girl. Every now and then, when you're in the thrift store, the thrift store gods just bless you. And now I feel great because even though I didn't find a lot of stuff, this jacket, bomb. And for $7.50, I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. We can go now. I didn't see the hole until I got up to the front. So I didn't get those. 
I was sad about that because I really like those. So I did end up getting the jacket, the leather jacket, the button down shirt, and the skirt, which I'm planning to get uh, shortened. So the coat was $7.50. The skirt was $3.00. And the uh, button down shirt was five dollars so i mean it wasn't a whole lot of stuff but i feel like it was good pieces for what i'm trying to do with my wardrobe and yeah i'm satisfied so now we are to the second store which is called second avenue and they have um a lot of different locations of second avenue here so this one that i'm about to go to today i don't it's not my favorite one i'm just going to it because it's close to where we are now and it's also on the way back home so i'm gonna stop past there and then i'm gonna get home because i'm getting hungry and i don't want to spend money on food because we got food at home so i'm gonna just hurry up i'm gonna just hurry up well it's no such thing as hurrying up at the thrift store but made it to the I saw this skirt at the last skirt store we was just at. So clearly this skirt is a mess. Because nobody wants it. <laughs> Or at least like a mini skirt. Like this pattern is very cute. When it comes to like shoes from the thrift store, I don't like to get things that are really current. I like to get like vintage looking shoes like this for example very 2003 but i think it's cute they're by yes so yeah cute they're not my size though unfortunately okay so no luck in the shoe department which is tough because I had big feet and I feel like you can always oh these are kind of cute I feel like smaller feet shoes you can always find like real good stuff but in my size not so much um but I met such a nice lady she saw me recording and she was like are you one of those like youtuber girl content creators I was like yes she was so cute and her shopping and she actually like subscribed to my channel so that was so sweet so sweet love that love that um, okay, well, now we can go to the men's section because the shoes were a bust and the women's section, what I was looking for in the women's section was a bust. And so, yeah, to the men's section we go, which is my favorite section anyway. He won't, he won't move. Like, sorry, go away, please. 
I really like these for all day. It is 38 square dickies. And I really, really like these. Now we in my favorite section. blazer so bad like I cannot buy one so I might have to buy one like really invest and spend some money to buy a good one didn't have that much but I think we got two good ones to try so the last thing I'm gonna do is check out like the hoodies and the sports jerseys and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find some shorts. Actually, let me see if I can find those first because I feel like that's gonna be quicker. I also wanted hoodies. I didn't really see any, which is strange, but I guess I'll just have to wait for that. So I'm about to find somewhere so we can try this stuff on and then, yeah, let's go. Cause the cart is getting full, honestly. So we need to find a mirror. If this was bigger, this would be so cute. This is a medium. I definitely would want this in like an extra large. It would be cute, but I can't do anything with it. It's too small. I saw this, but I can't. I can't tell if I like it or not. I feel like I do. I feel like it's kind of cool. I don't know what I would wear with it, but I feel like it's cool. First of all, I'm a sucker for a blazer. Like I'm just always gonna want blazers. This is so cute. This is that gory one. I don't like this one as much because I think because it's double breasted, which I didn't realize before. So no to this. Okay, these are the Dickies jeans. That's a size 38 that I was so pressed about. I love the wash, but I don't like the bottom. Like, I don't like how that's falling over my shoe. That's ugly. But if I got them taken in, they're also humongous, but I feel like they would be cute if I got them taken in, but the bottom is still yuck. I hate that. Like, they're straight leg or something, when they need to be wide leg or something. Boot cut. I don't, ew, no, ew. These are too short. I will only be able to wear these, like, low-waisted, because if I try to pull them up high, they're high waters. So, no. I left out the store. I actually decided not to get anything. I don't know, like all of the stuff that I tried on, well, y'all saw most of the stuff was a no. The two pieces that I was thinking about was the Argyle looking like top and then the navy pinstripe blazer. Um, I did not love both of them. And so the thing with thrifting, right, is like, even though the stuff is like super cheap or inexpensive rather, I still apply the same shopping rule because regardless, you don't want to spend money frivolously, whether it's $10 or $100. You get what I'm saying? So if it's something that I don't love, that I'm not going to get it still, even if it's from the thrift store, unless it's like $1, $2, then it's like, girl, whatever. But you get what I'm saying? I mean, overall, I just, overall, I just apply the same shopping rules that I have for anything else. I don't want to just be getting stuff from the thrift store just because it's inexpensive because then you still if you do that enough times like if you fall into the habit of that you'll still have a closet full of stuff that you're looking at like wtf like what is the stuff in here and it's like girl you didn't collect it all of this crap because you bought it only because it was inexpensive you get what i'm saying so 
I still apply the same rule basically when I'm shopping. Um, that's why I need to try things on at the thrift store because I need to see how they fit, how they fit me. That's just like the body type that I have. I got to try the stuff on and see how it fits. Thrift store is, can be hit and miss. Like some days you can come out with a whole bunch of stuff. Some days you can come out with a little bit or some days you can come out with nothing, you know? So yeah, I do want to give y'all like a little bit of, I guess like pro tips if you are considering thrifting because people ask me about this a lot, like where to go, how to start, yada, yada, yada. First tip I would say is if you want to, if you feel like you need to try things on, is definitely wear some, this is specifically for women, not so much for men, but like for women, if you want to try things on, wear something like fitted, like how today I wore this workout set, wear something that's gonna be fitted to your body. I usually wear leggings and like some sort of fitted top. In the winter time, if I go, I wear like a tank top or a fitted top, a fitted like long sleeve workout top or something and leggings. And I, if I have on a tank top, I'll put on a coat or a hoodie or something over top and just take it off when I need to try stuff on. But like, I always do that because I don't want to try the stuff on my bare body. Like my arms, I know I try on stuff with like jackets and stuff. Sometimes it's, um, you can't avoid it because like it's a hundred degrees today, girl. What was I about to put on? Okay. So, sometimes you can't avoid it, but I try to minimize it as much as I can. Another reason why I do that is because I, as you see where I was trying on clothes. The thrift store already, when it comes to like cleanliness, is questionable. It's very sus. So like the fitting room, honestly, I found in my experience, they don't clean them regularly. Same with like the restroom, the bathrooms and stuff, they don't clean them regularly. And then also they don't have a lot of fitting rooms. And so... I don't have time to be waiting to get in a fitting room. I don't got time to be lugging all that stuff in a fitting room. I don't got time. I find a mirror and I will try on everything in the mirror in the middle of the store, like over top of my clothes. So that's another reason why I like to wear fitted things so that I can try the stuff on over top of my clothes. So one, it doesn't touch my skin. And two, so that if I need to try it on in the middle of the store, I can. Second pro tip. Another one. Second pro tip is make sure you go when you have an open mind and you have nothing to do because with the thrift store you literally have to go through every single piece like every single piece on a rack if it's a whole where you know if you go in the store and it's like a rack full of clothes you have to go through every single one even sometimes like at this the second avenue is really good for like making sure that the sizing and things is organized but even still, like, people picking up and putting down stuff all day. And it's not the type of thing where they making sure at all times that the stuff is going back in the right place. So, you might find something that's not in the right size place or, like, a pair of pants where the tops are. Just stuff like that. And so you don't want to do it when you in a rush, when you got a lot to do, when you hungry, like, your stomach growling. Or just when you want any type of, like, time crunch. You just want to go when you're, like relaxed you have nothing to do you have a lot of time to spare um i would suggest going versus trying to do it you know what i mean like whatever y'all get what i'm saying because a lot of people are always like they overwhelmed they get overwhelmed if you have free leisure to roam the store that would take some of the pressure off third pro tip i would say is to try to find stores that are further out like not so much in the city i just feel like they have a better selection to choose from be like conscious of the areas that the thrift stores are in because obviously the area the people that are in that area are the people that are donating to those stores like most of the time so that will just i feel like give you a better selection of the types of things that you're getting not in all cases but I just have found over the years like that is a thing. The last thing I would just say is to have fun with it and know your limit. Like, for example, I don't like the store that I just left. Sorry, y'all. I keep itching my nose. I don't know why. I don't know why my nose be so itchy when I can't really scratch it like how I want because my hands are dirty and I don't really want to scratch my nose like that. And I feel like every time my nose knows that. Every time my nose know that I can't like really scratch like I want is when it be itching the most. I, I don't know what that's about. 
But anyway, what I was saying was like, all right, for example, the store that we just left out of, Second Avenue, those stores are very large stores. Um, so the um the top the women's tops section, right? It's nothing but tank tops. It's like four aisles of tank tops. I only had the patience to go through every single one of those tops and every single one of those aisles. So I don't. I might skim through, but I know that if I do that, it's going, I'm going to get wore out real fast. And I'm not going to want to look at any other section. I'm going to be ready to go. So to be completely honest, I never really go to their top section. That's something I might have to do like a separate day and just do that section alone and then go home. You get what I'm saying? So know your limit. And if you know that you're not the type of person that wants to sit and go through every single sift through every single piece thrifting probably not for you if you feel like you impatient thrifting probably not for you see i'm an impatient person but i do like thrifting because i like finding things that are like one of a kind and i also like vintage clothes because i feel like the quality is just better that's why i enjoy it and i put up with it and it's a little bit therapeutic for me you know but if you like are super impatient and you just know that that's not for you, don't worry about thrifting, babe. It's okay. We can figure out another way for you to save the planet, okay? But I am excited about the things that I got today, even though it wasn't a lot. I feel like I got some some good pieces, and that's what it's about. Like each time I go, if I can get like two to three to four good pieces, like over time that adds up, you know. So um yeah more more content on my like whole wardrobe and style transformation to come but yeah i'm about to go home get me something to eat um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for hanging out with me today and until next time friends bye when they say she get it from her mama i'ma say you fuck right body but it's complete don't be in the home